Hello, here is BB Walker Free Talks. This is the second part of the consideration about the discussion about the theory that uh, assume that we live in a simulation. So we are continuing the topic and that the world is a simulation. So there is a something above, uh, there is a supercomputer, let's call it, that controls all the process inside our reality. So we are thinking that maybe and some scientific facts, actually the newest discoveries on the quantum physics give us a presumption that it actually could be a possible. Of course, 50 years ago, before the era of the microprocessing and computers at all, it should be quite science fiction. However, in these times, we got the great computers that could model a part of our reality, like the weather models, uh, finance models, geological models, and many, many things. In architecture, of course, uh, people that are modeling buildings and checking if it collapse or not, calculating the you know strength in a building in a project of the building so the building construction like a bridge or, or tunnel and it won't collapse because some presumption some calculations has been done so you know also from the entertainment everybody knows the game sims or sim city it is of course a very basic very imperfect and and simple simulation and models but we are in still developing such models and year by year those simulations those models are becoming much more complex because we get much more computer power which can do a lot of computation we get the deep learning we get the parallel processing we get the clouds so we can engage hundreds of thousands of computers around the world to do the calculation of such a thing so from the theoretical uh, level, uh, such simulation like our world is, of course, possible, theoretically. But we need a supercomputer powered that could be able to have uh, the memory and the processing that could calculate the location of each particle in our universe. And the number of particle in our universe and the number of computation that need to be done in a single second is absolutely unbelievable to imagine and of course it cannot be held inside our world yeah because it is impossible to build a machine that could control a uh, computer such a big like our own uh, universe okay in this universe you can build a, a computer and maybe in the future we will be able to produce a simulation. For example, there was an experiment that could simulate the uh, neural network of the human brain for a few seconds, and they use almost full power of the hundreds of uh, scientific labs with the uh, clouds. But we always be able to produce, even with the great superpower technologies in computation, we will be only able to calculate the very very tiny part of our universe however i think it will be possible in a few years so to the atom level we will be able to predict uh, the world and there are scientists that are working on it today they are creating a tiny environment and put some initial uh, parameters and start the simulation and check the result so it is not a some kind of movie you know which is played but you are preparing some initial parameters uh, law of physics for example uh, law of physics like the gravity value and uh, the speed of light and many many such uh, things and start the simulation and the simulation is going and you can see what actually happened i was um, talking before about the game sims the game Sims is a great, or SimCity, for example, is a great picture of the idea of this whole concept. If you play Sims, you know that you actually give some initial uh, 
features and you get some interaction to the world um, but if you don't touch anything something happened on this game so people are moving going to work or do some, such events or interacting with each other of course if you try to imagine it, that you are uh, some kind of this this player in this game this, this this character the sims you will have no idea that you are control but that someone is, is watching you and actually start this game uh, of course we assume that the, such a sim is a such complex simulation that he have uh, consciousness and he have uh, self-consciousness actually so he thinks that uh, he exists and he is moving in the environment like this house work and and streets around uh, so this is basically this uh, this concept, how it works. And I think it's really worth um, talking about it. And I really invite you to start a discussion, giving some questions, maybe your thoughts. What do you think about this, this concept? But I'm studying it a few months and it's really, really interesting idea. And this idea uh, surprisingly solved many of our today problems with the quantum physics with the string theory with the dark matter with the the theory of multiversum and many many things that um, the scientific facts that we have uh, spoken in a part one applied to this topic let's talk about those basics those those top facts uh, so the discrete time and a discrete space actually give us a resolution of the universe so we have found the undivided pieces of time and undivided pieces of space called the uh, uh, Planck time and uh, Planck distance to give you a picture to explain you what is the resolution of the world what is the resolution of the universe it is very good model and simulation of course of the resolution for example for a smartphone or on any other lcd screen like a computer monitor or a television so you see a picture on the television and today times they have a resolution of full hd uh, which is 1920 pixels in width and 1080 pixels in height and this is the standard 16 to 9 uh, panoramic screen the resolution called full hd now we get 4k which is four times bigger however uh, the concept of this is you can see a picture in a matrix that consists of in approximation 2000 uh, pixels in width and 1000 pixels in height so if i give you a big photo of the face of the human for example and you are starting zooming in in digital you get to the uh, thing when you see a whole pixel in the whole screen so the whole point of view of you is only one pixel and you are unable to recognize uh, when it starts when it ends so you can see only a great big pixel you probably see this many times if you s try to zoom in zoom in zoom in and you got the big pixels and you can see anything because this is only big pixel square okay with a color so exactly this is uh, what happened with the resolution of the universe if you take a look a little bit zoom 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 to the particles to the atom level and you get into quarks and you get into the inside the nucleus you will find that on very very tiny uh, distances called the Planck distance you cannot move any particle or any quark between the Planck distance so the Planck distance is the minimal it's, it's something like the, uh, the pixel of the universe. The size of the pixel of the universe is the Planck distance. You cannot go deeper. You cannot zoom in more. Okay, so you reach the limit. And this is the resolution of the universe. And if we refer it to the simulation of the world, this kind of, this value, this property of the world, which is the Planck distance, is actually our resolution. So this is the limit of this supercomputer 
we cannot compute more so this is the limit and the same things uh, comes with the processing speed which is the time of course simulate the real time you need very fast processor but always the time is discrete which means it is divided into very very tiny pieces of time which cannot be smaller okay the resolution of time is is something when you get so much tiny pieces of time that you are unable to recognize we, if we are on this second of this amount of time or the next amount of time so if you are going into the Planck time tiny very tiny tiny pieces of time you noticed that a particle could be in two places at the same time because you have reached uh, the resolution of the time it is something like uh, you are playing the fps computer game and you are you know seeing the character what the character sees and those pictures are rendered by the simulation of course the, the program that creates the, the 3d world in, in such a game and it creates it in a in a value that we call the frames per second our eyes see about the 50 hertz which means 50 frames per second the standard the cinematic movie is 25 frames per second but if you are playing a dynamic game you want to buy a very good graphics card because very good graphics card give you more fps if you have a, a very low fps you get this discrete time you you see this lagging this you see that this movement is not smooth the gamer said this is lagging yes the lagging so the processor of the graphic card is, is not powerful enough and we get this lagging so we cannot have more fps but if you get a very good quality card you get more fps for example 80 100 and this movement is really smooth and and the game works perfectly for your eyes but you are always reaching the limit the limit of the possible speed of generating the surrounding of your environment the, the things that you actually see this is actually this uh, resolution of the time so the scientist the quantum physics actually found this resolution of the time and they prove that time is discrete so it is generated by some kind of processor like fps you know it's not smooth it's not uh, continuous but the function of time is discrete i hope i explain this to you in a, a simple way this term which is the discrete time but those two things which is uh, this pixelized world uh, which is the discrete pace and uh, discrete time which is those the speed of creation of rendering the world this fps let's call it the, the universe fps which is on a Planck time give us a, a great indication that actually our universe could be a simulation because it has the same uh, limitations the same properties that our very poor simulation in the computers those time have so the discrete time which is the limit of the speed of rendering and the discrete space which is the resolution of the picture that we are generating you know and everybody that play games know that if you have bigger resolution you need bigger card because the fps will go down and if you want to increase the fps you need to squeeze the resolution of the game so from 4k go to full hd on 720p and you will get more smooth game because you save some graphics cpu gpu power to render this world but always the game and some kind of hardware have this limit so those two things that we have that we found it and we actually cannot measure the time lower than the Planck time and we cannot have the distance because it is impossible to find out the location on the distance lower than Planck distance and the next part we will take another facts and talk in detail I hope you are not bored 
and I hope you like it. Please give a comment, feedback, we can start a discussion. I'm really impressed this topic and I'm really interested in this topic. So I warmly invite you to the discussion. Thank you and see you in the next part. It was BB Walker Free Talks and Discoveries.